Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, we'll go through an exercise to practice our calculation skills. As you see, we have some data here. This is the data of how many miles each of our cars, our vehicles, drove each day this week. Now we want to calculate the totals for each car and the totals for each day. And also we want to see the total miles for all of it, the max miles and the min miles. And we're going to do some work to make it less boring also. So easiest way to do a summary or a sum of a bunch of numbers is to use the auto sum function, of course. So what I'm going to do first is just remove these formula types there, or captions there. And then I'm just going to select all of this. You notice that I uh, select all of the data and the empty space where I want the formulas to go. So now if I click auto sum here, you see I get all the auto sums automatically created for me. So you'll notice that these sums are all correct. So that doesn't work all the time, of course, depending on how your data is laid out. But in this example, it works rather beautifully. And you should definitely take a look at all these formulas and see that they're calculating the right row. And uh, there's some, let's see, we can look at that. What that's doing is summarizing all the weekdays to the left there. So that's a very easy way to get those calculations done. For the total miles, I can just do sum and then just select all of these data that I want to calculate like that. And then just keep typing with the end parentheses and press enter. And you'll notice, of course, that I have the same data there and there. So that everything works out. Max, slightly more difficult, equals max of the entire data range there. End parentheses. And then we have the 165, which looks to be one of the highest, right? We're going to look at um, conditional formatting in another demonstration, which will make it much easier to actually find that 165 value that I was just looking for. Min, exactly the same, equals min, and then the whole range like that. And make it look less boring. Well, we can have these, or of course, our general input values and these are our calculations just doing that makes it a lot nicer I think this is an interesting point now we're gonna do calculations there and there I can of course do that twice but another way of doing it is holding down the control key and selecting now I have um, a separate selection of two ranges here this range and this range so I hold held down the control key on my keyboard while dragging with my mouse. And now I can apply that cell style to those values too. Yeah. And then of course we can just put some bold on here. Maybe we can have some cell style for that too. Um, explanatory, why not? Rather discreet. Those two. I think that looks rather nice. And I think we concluded that demonstration. Thank you for watching.